Hey kids, today we're back with our series called God Speaks. In the previous lesson, we learned that God speaks to give direction and correction to people. So what are some other things God might say when he speaks to us? Okra is going to ask this question in her report. So let's turn it over to her and see what we learn. Hello, and welcome to the Okra Report. I'm Okra Walters. Today, we are tackling one of the toughest, biggest questions ever to face humanity. No, it's not. How much is that doggy in the window? How much is that doggy in the window? Oh, you must be talking about Lucky. He's only got three legs, so naturally he's 25% off. No, the question we are tackling today is, what else does God say? We learned that God speaks words of direction and correction to his people. But what else does God say when he speaks? To answer this question, we sent out our ace reporter to ask some folks that very question. However, he was reporting on the new construction site downtown when he fell into a cave and was abducted by mole men. Did I just read that right? Mole men? Seriously? Whatever. So instead, we sent our assistant cameraman, Bafo. Uh, uh, no, Mama. I don't want to go on the pony ride. They attacked Grandpa. No, you can't reason with them. They're wild animals. Earth to Bafo. Wake up. Don't take my wallet. Bafo, get out of bed. We've got a serious story to report on. We need to find out what people think about what else God says. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry, Okra. Well, anyway, I went around asking people the question, what else does God say? Here are some of their answers. What else does God say? Have you said enough already? He got a whole book full of stuff he said. Go ask somebody else. Why are you so angry? I'm just asking you a question. Your stuff all up in my area and it's stanky. Yeah, so I was like totally paddle boarding the other day and I looked up and I, I could have sworn I saw a, a seal with a Viking helmet on. And, and I thought, man, did he swim all the way from Viking land? Or did he maybe steal that helmet from a Viking that was on vacation? And then I realized, I don't really know a lot about seals. Know what I mean? Ever tried talking to a road sign? Same thing, except not as helpful. Oh, God has lots of extra stuff to say. He talks to me all the time. You remember I told you I got that metal plate in my head and God uses it to beam his satellite frequencies right into my brain. Well, I think I'm getting something right now. Is God in Mexico? Romulus and Remus, quit messing with that radio. You're messing up God's signal. Hey, no, wait. Tell him to turn it up. I love this song. No, no, no. Oh, back to you, Okra. Wow. It looks like Bafo found a lot of opinions as to what else God says when he speaks to his people. Besides giving direction and correction to people, what are some other things that God might say when he speaks to us? Well, there is a very important story in the Bible about a time that God spoke to Joshua. Joshua had just taken over for Moses as the leader of the people of Israel. He was probably nervous and worried that he wouldn't do as good a job as Moses. God spoke words of comfort and encouragement to Joshua in that very moment. Well, you're going to learn all about that in your lesson today. You're going to learn all about God's message to Joshua and how God sometimes speaks words of comfort and encouragement when we need them. So, that being said, I better let you get into your lesson. And I have to get prepared for my next interview. It's with little Suzanne Curtis, who is on her fourth straight week in pursuit of the world record of the longest burp. Gross. That's just gross. This is Okra Walters. I'll see you next time on The Okra Report.
In the rest of our lesson today, we will learn all about God's message to Joshua and how God sometimes speaks words of comfort and encouragement when we need it the most. When we are down and hurting, God can lift us up, comfort us, and encourage us to move forward in Him. To find out a little bit about that, let's see what's up. Welcome back to the What's Up. My name is Devontae and I'm here to tell you our What's Up. And I'm Devante. All right, so our What's Up today is when I need encouragement, God comforts me. What is encouragement? Encouragement is when somebody's feeling a little down, they feel like they can't do something or they're just like not very great at something and they're just like sad about it, but they need encouragement is going in and saying, no, you're doing a great job for what you're doing. I'm gonna encourage you to do more and better things. Does that make sense? Or if you're cold, you can get a comforter just like this right here and it'll bring you comfort. You know what I mean? So if you have a blanket in your house, cause I know some of you guys are in your houses and you like sleep, you can get a comforter to help you remember this, okay? Are you ready? Okay. All right, so our what's up? When I need encouragement, God comforts me. When I need encouragement, God comforts me. So like I said, you can grab a blanket, grab a comforter, grab a, a piece of paper, just kind of wrap it around your body for a little chilly, just to remember that God can comfort us. Okay, so we're gonna do a competition. Who can do it the loudest? We're gonna do boys versus girls. We'll have the boys go first, because last week we had the girls go first. So boys, stand to your feet all the way up to your feet. You're gonna repeat it after me on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. When I need encouragement, God comforts me. Okay, great job, boys. You can sit down, girls, stand to your feet. Stand up, stand up. I wanna hear you guys even louder than the boys. Even louder, okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. When I need encouragement, God comforts me. Okay, good job. Let's do it all at the same time. I want you guys to yell it as loud as you can. So loud that my ears bleed afterwards. Okay, ready? On the count of three, boys and girls together, standing as powerful as you can. Repeat it after me. One, two, three. When I need encouragement, God comforts me. Great job. I want you guys to remember that and keep it in your brain so you can remember that when you need encouragement, you can go to God and he will comfort you. And that's what's up. Hey my friends, I wanted to take a minute and just talk to you a little bit about this series and some of the things that God has been doing in my life and hopefully in yours as well. A couple weeks ago, we learned the lesson how God speaks to kids. And today we're talking about how he brings comfort and encouragement. Well, here at Brightmore on a Sunday morning, I got the chance to share with some kids how I've been really sad. Um, a friend of mine actually passed away. They, they died a couple weeks ago. And it's been really hard on me. I miss this person so much. Um, it's affecting my friends. It's affecting my family. Um, his family is, is mourning the loss of him. And it's been really difficult because I know that God can comfort, but I was looking for it. And so on a Sunday morning, I woke up when we were about to talk to about how kids listen to God and they can hear his voice. I asked for two things. I asked God, I need some encouragement today. And can you bring me a kid that is hearing your voice? Well, he does not disappoint. He did exactly that. There's a girl, her name is Naomi. And she came in on Sunday morning and she brought me this this beautiful piece of paper that has all this artwork and some special things. It even has a picture frame. I haven't put a picture in there yet though. And this was the encouragement I needed. It, it, it's so simple, but you know what? It says love on it a 
billion times, and I needed to be reminded that I was loved, even though I was hurting because I loved someone else. And here's what's even better. I asked her, Naomi, did God tell you to draw this? And she said, yes. It could have been given to anyone, but it was given to me. And God used Naomi and she was tuned into his voice so that she was able to bring comfort and encourage to me. She did not know about my friend that had just died. No one did at that point, but God did. And he went before me and with me. He's gonna go before you and with you. That when you are sad, when something's going on in your life, he can bring the encouragement. So I encourage you to ask God the things that you may need and tune into his voice because maybe you're not someone that's sad, but maybe you know someone who is. Or maybe you are the person like me who is really upset at a loss of someone and you needed the encouragement. And now I want to be that encouragement for other people. I encourage you, just like our What's Up said, that God speaks, but what does he do? He speaks encouragement and comfort to us when we need it most. Uga taka, uga, uga, sprinkle taka. Ah, I like taka. Ah, I like sprinkles. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Don't mind us. My name is Van. My name is Glenn. And we're here to pop. You, you are, yeah. Hey, you know what I like better than chocolate sprinkles? Uh, my big old posing bicep. Other than that, I'm talking about knock knock jokes. Ah, uh, do you have a knock knock joke today? Ah, uh, what is it? Knock knock. Who's there? Cows go. Cows go who? Cows don't go moo, silly. They go moo. Then let's teach you that power of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't get it. Okay, boys and girls, today's power verse says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Oh, what a powerful power verse, huh, Glenn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm done. Now, girls, I want you to stand up. Stand up on your muscled up feet and say the power verse with me, Zvan, on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, girls. That was amazing. Yeah. Now sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Now I need to see boys. Yeah. Oh, stand up, mm -hmm. stand up, and get in your perfect power stand. Uh. with me on the count of three. Come on, boys, stand up. Say it with me now. One, two, three. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Oh, yeah. Good job, good yeah. job. You can sit down now. You know, boys and girls. What? Glenn. What? God speaks to us in so many ways. Mm. And he tells us to do many, many different things. Yeah, yeah. But he also speaks to us to give us encouragement. Ooh, yeah. He has to lift our spirits, yeah. maybe to pray for someone or speak to someone who's feeling lonely yeah. or even to tell someone else about him. Yeah. God speaks to us for many different reasons. Yeah, yeah. But what is important is when he speaks to us, we must be willing to listen and obey. Obey. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So here we go. Oh. I want everybody to stand up stand and up. do the part of us with all Glenn and I yeah. on the count of three. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1-9. Oh, that was awesome, boys and girls, both of you. Now sit down, sit down. We're Glenn. It is time for us to go. Okay. Fun sad. But until next time, boys and girls, my name is Ben. My name is Glenn. And we're here to pop you up. Yeah.
Today we're learning about an incredible man named Joshua. You've probably heard of him before. Most of you know he was the guy who led the Israelite army into the city of Jericho. They defeated the entire city by walking around the walls and yelling loudly. The walls came tumbling down. But long before that ever happened, Joshua found himself in a tough spot. His leader Moses had died. God's people, the nation of Israel, had no leader. Joshua didn't know what to do. So he went out to be alone and pray. Suddenly God appeared to him and said, Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. Well, I'm sure that Joshua must have been thinking, I kinda already know that God. That's not a news flash. But then God told Joshua that he must lead the people across the Jordan River and to the land God was giving them. Joshua was to take over for Moses. Remember, this is the same Moses who parted the Red Sea so that the Israelites could walk on dry land. This is the same Moses who hit the rock with his staff and water came out of it for them, came out of it for them to drink. This is the same Moses who God met face to face and gave him the Ten Commandments. Joshua must have thought that there was no way he could follow this kind of leader. Many times we feel like there's no way we can do what God is calling us to do. We fear that we might fail or mess up. Joshua probably felt those same feelings. But God spoke to Joshua and gave him incredible comfort and encouragement in that moment. God said, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Comforted and encouraged, Joshua leaves God's presence and goes to speak to the commanders of the army. He said, get ready, we are going to cross the Jordan River. Now, I am sure these people missed Moses, but they immediately accepted Joshua as their leader. They said, as we obeyed Moses, we will also obey you. And the people of God crossed the Jordan River and conquered the city of Jericho. Today, we are going to learn all about how God speaks words of encouragement and comfort to us, just as he did with Joshua. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joshua. This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Uh, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourn. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There we are. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, this is what we're gonna do, okay? And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. Today we continue our series called God Speaks. We're asking the question, what else does God say? 
We learned that God speaks to us many times to give us both instruction and correction. What are some other things that God says to his people when he speaks? Well, as we learned in our Bible story today, God speaks to encourage me. God spoke encouraging words to Joshua as well, letting him know that he was not alone and that God was going to help him be the leader he needed to be. Many times God speaks to you and me with words of encouragement. We may feel like there's no way we'll pass the math test, but God whispers, yes you can, I'll be with you. We may feel like no one wants to be our friend and we're all alone, but God whispers, I have never left you, you are not alone. God is an amazing God who wants to speak words of encouragement to you. Allow his words to be the words you listen to and take to heart. Don't listen to the words of discouragement that you might hear at school or maybe even at home. Listen to God's encouraging words. God speaks to encourage me, but also... God speaks to comfort me. Have you ever been in your bedroom when it's really stormy outside? That can be pretty scary. When I was young and a storm would come along, I would always want to curl up underneath my sheets and try to have my head completely covered so that I couldn't hear the storm as much. I would pull the comforter over my head and be covered. That way, I wasn't afraid anymore. I felt like... I was in peace. God does the same thing for us many times. When the storms of life come along, He speaks words of comfort to us. We all face storms in life. Family problems, friendship difficulties, bullying, sickness, death. These storms can seem to overwhelm us, but God is our comforter. He speaks words over us that give us comfort. Do not be afraid, for I am with you, He says. Be strong and courageous. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. These are just some of the words of comfort that God will speak to you if you listen to him whenever you are going through a hard time. And finally, one of the coolest things that God speaks. God speaks to tell me to pray for others. How many of you know that we as humans don't know everything? Sometimes we think we do, but we don't. But we do know the one who does know everything, right? Who is that? Who? That's right, God knows everything. He sees everything. Sometimes God speaks to you to tell you that you need to stop everything you're doing right now and pray for someone. He might wake you up in the middle of the night. He might speak to your heart in the middle of the day when no one can even hear it. There have been many times that God has spoke to people to pray for others. God knew that someone needed prayer, so he spoke to someone else to pray for them. In the book of Acts, God spoke to the hearts of some people to pray for the apostle Peter, who was in prison. At the same time that they were praying, God sent an angel to lead Peter out of the prison. Peter walked up to the place where the prayer meeting was going on. He knocked on the door, and when the people finally realized it was Peter, they couldn't believe it. God had spoke to them to pray for Peter, and while they prayed, Peter was set free. Isn't that fantastic? That's what happens when we obey God and pray for others when he speaks to our hearts. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Hello, boys and girls. We are ready for the review questions. I hope you are. We have Miss Elizabeth. And you know Mr. Devontae, our what's up man. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the review. First question, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. What is today's what's up? When I need encouragement, God comforts me. Yep, that like is, this comforter. <laughs> that is right, good job. All right, next question. What was the man's name we learned about in today's Bible story? Joshua. That is correct. Okay, you guys are on a roll. Yeah, you, yeah, you knew it, and I know you guys do it too. All right, next question. Who did Joshua take over for as leader of God's people? Moses. All right, Miss Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. That's right. We actually learned about Moses just a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> All right, and we shall proceed. God told Joshua to be blank and blank. You need to give me two words. I know you guys know it. Oh. Give the first word, I'll give the second word. Oh, okay, so we won't touch it, okay. Yeah. To be strong. Check. And courageous. 
Check, check. All right, good job. Good. Good teamwork. You, know, if you said the first word, I would get the second word. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Did the commanders of the army accept Joshua's leadership? Yes or no? No. Uh. uh yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, they the, did. The yes. answer is yes. I hope you guys got that to see one. if everybody was paying attention. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Devon, so if you say so. Mm -hmm. According to our lesson today, God speaks to blank me. <laughs> Should we say it at the same time? I think so. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Help, Help me. me. Help, encourage. <laughs> oh. Encourage is what I was going to say encourage. <laughs> then say so it. Same thing. But you oh. weren't, so I wanted to say it at the same time. Oh, okay. All right. Next question. We're moving on. Mm -hmm. According to our lesson today, God speaks to blank me. You just said that. Is, is this the comfort one? Does he speak to comfort me? Yes. Remember, we're talking about comfort and encourage. Mm. <laughs> All right, next question. According to our lesson today, God speaks to tell me to blank for others. Somebody. <laughs> Pray. Pray. Yes, that is uh, correct. Good look, job. We're just being a team yeah, today. Look at that. Teamwork makes the dream work. Amen to that. Come on. All right, next question. True or false? All right, you guys got, listen. All right, true or false? God still speaks to his people. Yes. Oh. True. true. That is true. Yes. And even kids, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, all the time actually. <laughs> all right, boys and girls, last question. Hope you can get this. All right, you guys ready? Yes. Where was our power verse found today? Ooh. Okay, so our character today, mm -hmm actually matches up with the exact book that our verse is from. Yes. So it's Joshua 1, 9. Yes. That is right. And that's our review question. One, two, three. When I need encouragement, God comforts me. Great job. I want you guys to remember that and keep it in your brain so you can remember that when you need encouragement, you can go to God and he will comfort you. And that's what's up. God truly is a great comforter. Today, we've talked about when you need encouragement to go to him, he will speak encouragement to you and he will comfort you. And so I ask that you hold on to that. The next time that something upsets you, don't just run with your emotions, but go and run to God, because he can speak to you, encourage you. And we're gonna have one more week of this. So stay tuned to God Speaks, and we'll see you next week.